Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to find and import other people's presets, free ones from the internet, how to get them into Premiere Pro, drag them onto our footage and ha, like we did in the last video, but using other people's downloaded presets. The super shortcut version is in your effects panel, okay, just right click this little stripey line here and say import presets. Uh, I want to discuss a little bit more in this video around how to add them, how to change them, delete them, where to get them from. Let's dive in and talk about other people's presets. All right, to get started, let's pick a bit of footage. I'm sick of bin our uh, cam B. We're going to go to cam, what have we got? Footage. We're going to use cam D. I haven't been in there yet. Okay, so I'm picking DO5. I haven't even looked at it. It's going to be great. That's kind of cool. I'm going to right click it and delete the audio. You could mute the track. Okay, I don't want this audio, so I'm going to unlink it. Click on the bottom part, hit delete. Okay, find a good spot that's in focus that feels good. I'm at full. I am going to install somebody else's preset. Okay, to install a preset, uh, we're going to go along to our effects panel. Okay, there we go. And we're going to right click uh, presets. And we're going to go to import presets. So just right click the word up there. Okay. Um, you can go up to the little burger menu here and import it as well. Okay, either way, we'll end up here. And what you're looking for is these. <laughs> That's the extension, the ugly extension. Premiere Pro Preset. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, filter Preset, there you go. That's what explains that one. It's a crazy one. Now, where can you download them? I'll show you that towards the end. I've got one ready to go for you, so I'm just going to show you. It's, it's easy, you just download them. But in your exercise files, in your, uh, where is it, under wedding, in, I put it in graphics. That's where I tend to put my prefets, uh, presets. Probably there are project files, whichever feels good to you. I've got this one from Motion Array. Okay, they've given us some presets for free to download. I'll show you where to get them in a sec. So you've done it, you're like, huh, awesome, where are they? Okay, down here in your fix panel under presets, twirl that down, and it's whatever they've called them. They've called theirs 10 free color presets. It might be called motion array presets. Okay, so just be looking through these folders and seeing what they might have called it. And this one here, okay, has a bunch of presets. Cool, huh? Okay, so to apply them, it's the exact same way we did our own preset. So if you grab vignette and drag it over, you get Dan's favorite, a vignette. You can see over here, they've done a slightly different, they've done lighting effects. There's a, they've done a lot different way of applying the same thing. Okay, you might like it better. To delete it, I'm gonna click on lighting effects. Okay, and just hit delete on my keyboard. Go back to normal. Let's have a look at, looking at moonlight. Okay, this one here, click hold, drag it onto my footage. It's got a very specific look. It's got this kind of like color cast over here. Let's do it some other footage. I picked this randomly. It was a terrible idea. Let's have a look at Cam D. Let's go to, let's open up Cam D. Let's go to our thumbnail view. Let's go to something, let's use that one. It's easy to see with some people in here. Okay, so back to my fix panel. And I'm gonna use 10 Moonlight. Ooh. Very dramatic, looks like nighttime and the moon's there. Okay, so this is somebody else's preset that we've installed. You can work your way through. The one thing you need to be careful of is, let's say that I don't like Moonlight, I'm gonna apply Spring. Okay, it won't override it, it will just add it to it, which might be exactly what you're looking for. But over here, you can see if I twirl these down, it's added that lighting effect, which was Moonlight, but also these two other things, okay, that are Spring and they're all combining. So what you might need to do is delete Moonlight, okay, Spring, Oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's not working for me, but it's all right. Now you can adjust them all, they're all fully adjustable. So in here, if you're okay using the RGB curves, you can start playing around with this. Okay, if you're not, you might stay away from it. Okay, some of them are easier than others. The four color gradient, okay, should be easy to adjust. Okay, so you can decide if you don't want green, you can double click it, pick another color, and you might work your way through adjusting it this way. Okay, so you might just start with somebody's preset and then do some tweaking. And when you're ready, you can select both of them. So you've done some changes. Remember, select more than one of them. Okay, if there is more than one. Hold which key down on my keyboard? That's right, on a Mac, it's Command, Control, on a PC. Select both of them, right click them, and save as your own preset. Kind of based on theirs, but you've made your own. Okay, one thing we should really be doing is I'm gonna select both of these, okay, and hit delete. And I'm going to be doing it on an adjustment layer. Okay, so let's say that I've got this. Let's look for cam 
Decam. I say that backwards every time. It's probably annoying you. <laughs> okay, so let's add this one as well. I'm just throwing a few in to give you an example because you can do it per clip. Okay, that's what we've been doing up until now with presets. But remember, early on in the course, we learned what an adjustment layer does. So we're going to create a new adjustment layer, new item, find adjustment layer, mm, or it's going to match my footage, perfect. I'm just going to drag it on, okay, extend it out to cover everything and apply it to this. Then it will affect everything underneath. Okay, so back to my effects, okay, and let's go for spring and add it to the adjustment layer. Then you're controlling just the adjustment layer and everything underneath it has got the same effect. Random effect. <laughs> so there's times in this class where it's actually just easier for me to add them to the clip. But if you're thinking, hmm, why doesn't he do an adjustment layer? That would save time. You're probably right. I'm just trying to keep the classes, I guess, concise and not to get them too confusing. I'll try and use more adjustment layers. Cool. Next thing I want to show you is where you get them from. All right, it's not particularly rocket science. Type in Premiere Pro free presets, okay, and there's loads out there. And it's like lots of free stuff. You've got to search through lots of uh, not that good stuff to find good stuff. One place I do end up going back to a lot is this place called motionarray.com. I'll add it to your links file, okay. Uh, there it is, motion array. I'll add it to um, your links folder that's in your exercise file. Okay, but yeah, there's no real, you just kind of go through and you just got to look for examples. Okay, Motion Array as a video editor comes up a lot for things. Okay, so LUTs are different. Okay, they're basically the same thing. Okay, it's like Lumetri Color, but doesn't include effects as well. So it doesn't really matter. I, I guess presets, looks and LUTs are doing the same thing. We're correcting video. A preset often includes not only the LUT or the look, but also effects like the noise that we did and the lighting effects we saw a second ago. So basically you just kind of go through here and you're looking for three color presets. Uh, the ones that I got for you, I can't remember which ones they are. It was called 10 free um, presets and they were pretty cool. And then you just kind of go through, download them, okay? And you'll end up with this weird extension. I think you have to say, I think you might have to sign in. Whoa, it's loud. Uh, <laughs> stop. Uh, you might have to sign in to download them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I've already done that. It's free to sign in. You just download them and you end up with your weird PP, where is it there? PRF, P set <laughs> file. Okay, and you just install it like we did in the class. People sell presets. Okay, you will find people online selling them and there's nothing wrong with a sold one. Um, you know, that's, you know, you might like somebody's style and they sell them and that is amazing and it supports them and it can look really good. Uh, note that, like we've done it a few times in this class where you add a look and it looks good in the example and it looks terrible on your footage. That is more common than it is uh, not. Okay, so often you're like, oh yeah, make it look cinematic and drag on a preset and you're like, oh, it looks a little bit more cinematic. That's probably pretty true. A healthy dose of realism is required dealing with templates and presets and LUTs and looks. Man, I'm such a downer today. Uh, let's do more happy stuff. Let's get in and talk about uh, other things in the next video. All right, bye guys, next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.